So as everyone knows that uh, Bill O'Reilly has been going through a divorce, a very, very ugly divorce, and I'm going to talk later about that. But what is even more interesting is what Bill O'Reilly's wife's church has been doing. And where, you know, there's so much criticism about Islamic extremism and, oh, women are so oppressed. Well, let's just read this. What is um, Bill O'Reilly's wife's church doing? McPhilmy, his wife, Long Island Parish, which is the church, has reprimanded her for divorcing O'Reilly and marrying her detective, detective boyfriend. The church warned that she can't tell her kids that God approves of her second marriage. Gonker uh, notes, and I think Gonker is the daughter of O'Reilly, notes that O'Reilly gave over $65,000 to a New York Catholic church schools and parishes in 2011 and carries influence with uh, the archdiocese. O'Reilly is trying to annul his 15-year marriage with Big Filmy. Gonker uh, presumes that this would violate his 2004 uh, ex, ex, meaning he cheated on his wife, okay? Now, having said this, now isn't this strange where a church is telling a wife, oh, you can't get divorced in the 21st century? Oh my God, O'Reilly, I mean, come to the 21st century, man. What stone age do you live in that you can't, your wife can't divorce you? If you're like throwing her down the stairs, grabbing her hair, and you're projecting all your own ugliness on other people, as we will discuss. And then what is also interesting, uh, well, let us uh, just, uh, and you know what's so interesting? Uh, we'll talk about this uh, um, in a little bit right over uh, here. Um, Let me get to the right page. Now watch this. What did the court say? He didn't even get custody of the kids. I mean, this is how bad this guy is, right? According to court transcripts obtained by Gawker, she also viewed, this is the 17-year-old daughter, viewed O'Reilly as a temperamental, absentee parent who was uninterested in developing a relationship with her. I want you to keep that in mind, because now we're getting to the part that is most relevant. Now, she's not the only one who thinks that, okay? The same appeals court ruled in Mick Filmy's favor, that's his ex-wife, over two years ago in January 2013, after she discovered that the purportedly neutral therapist, she and O'Reilly had chosen to arbitrate custodial disagreements, had been hired by O'Reilly to, quote, perform virtually all of his parental duties. Now, that's weird, too. You hire somebody else to do all your parental agreements. Somebody who was hired to be neutral between the husband and the wife. And he goes ahead and hires her full time as another parent. Because he can't be a parent. And he wants to project his problems on other people. You'll see. Now, here's a guy that according to the court rulings, and trials about this, they had all these proceedings. Is an absentee father, refuses to his parental duties, let alone all the other vicious things which I've only given you tip of the iceberg. Now I want you to watch Bill O'Reilly yell at black people about family values. <coughs> Where the reality is that young black men are doing far more damage than the police in Chicago. We have a case there now. Right. Police in Minneapolis. Young black American men are so often involved in crime. Violent crime generated by African Americans is an enormous social problem. The reason there is so much violence and chaos in the black precincts is the disintegration of the African American family. That is the dissolution of the African American traditional family. The lack of involved fathers leads to young boys growing up resentful and unsupervised. The real racism is looking away from what is really harming black Americans. You Hollywood people and you derelict parents, you're the ones hurting these vulnerable children. 
Nothing will get better in this country until the culture changes. You can't legislate good parenting or responsible entertainment. Mm, indeed. So here's the deal, Bill O'Reilly. Until... So this is a classic example in psychology of projecting. The problems you've got, you see it in other people, but it's your problems. And I wonder if the same is true about Islamic violence. It's your own violent attitudes, as I have just recorded a video about how he believes in using force as the only solution in the Muslim world. It, he's projecting his own problems on the world around him. And I don't know if that's a safe thing for Fox News to do. Because if it was me, I would fire him because somebody like that could be dangerous. And then, of course, like I said, you know, what age did this guy live in where, he's, where his parish is telling his wife, oh, God is going to hate you because you're getting divorced from this guy that was an abuser. I mean, come on, this is the 21st century. Islam has enough sense that in any case, in, in, in an Islamic court, you know, or in, in, in an Islamic situation, it would be very, very understandable, almost even mandatory as it, from an imam's perspective, that if a woman's living in an abusive situation, and if he has the ability that he needs to do something about that. Over here, the parish is saying, is, is, uh, the parish has reprimanded her for divorcing O'Reilly, even though he's been proven to caught, he's been proven as a cheater, and he's proven to be abusive, and a, basically an absentee parent, and then projecting all his own problems on the world around him. It's just amazing, isn't it? It's just amazing.